Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Vigil, The Longest Night. I'm your host, the Darius. Last we left off, I was turning this down a little bit. We had done a little bit of explorationing uh, towards the bottom of the map, and um, there was a lot of sewer stuff. I hated that area. Went to the flooded area, hated that area. I guess hate's a strong word. It's not like they were bad areas or anything, it's just they were. Um, Interesting. So, uh, I did go back looking at some of my old, my other videos of this, and I had deciphered, I guess decipher is a strong word, figured out more or less where it is that I am going to be able to find those Hunter Brothers, assuming that they are still in the location that they were previously at. So, here's hoping. That they are. Not to mention, I gotta murder some things on the way there. So, a little bit of de-rust. It's been a couple of days, which is usually not the case when it comes to me playing these. Being a couple of days, that is usually, 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 yeah, depressing forest. Yeah. Usually, I will have, like, just bore right through a game that I really like in a span of, like, a week. I got this deformed thing from the Golden Slime. Wow, you really found it. Amazing. Amazing. Why are you in imitating me, Ochio? Let's take this and go home, then. See you next time, lady. Ooh, 777 gold. That's something. Let's see, August the Librarian decided to go on an adventure. Doesn't seem well prepared. Maybe we can help him out when I meet him. Arctic Ocarina. Right, I gotta deal with the skeletons in the graveyard. That's fine by me. I really didn't want to go back to the depressing forest anytime soon. So, I just need to slay ten skeletons. That pretty much it. Oh. He wasn't dead. Take this bats. Could have sworn it was pick up tin of a item or something of the sort. Pelvises? Scapulas. Something. Does this area even count as where I'm supposed to be? Now, well, collect ten bones for the captain. Maybe it just doesn't matter what the bones are. Whoa! <laughs> That's a near miss. Yeah, had I had known that there was a quest based on these bones, I probably would not have sold them. Nah, who am I kidding? I probably would. Whoa. Go shave. Vertebra. Now I just can't help but wonder how everlasting the skeletons here are. If they are, that is. I suppose I should also head back to the library and see if Dudicus has returned or not. Scapula. Anything in here? Nope. I got a level up waiting for me though. Let's see. Eh? I should really actually start figuring out how the hell to axe. Hold special attack for one second and release. Hmm. This one. Uh, 
Um, okay. It is quite literally like one second. Got it. Eh. Did I say dodge? What the hell did he dodge? That's neat, but I think it's still faster to just whack him at the time, for the time being, until that damage actually does damage, you know? Ow. Jam that into my arm. Take out you, you jackass. No, not equipment. I just want to check out how many bones I have. Five. I think I just need the one more, unless it's like... I don't know. Needing multiples at the same. Kinda hoping it's just... Oh, bring me back any collection of ten bones. I'm not gonna ask where you got them, I'm just going to assume that you got them at the graveyard. There we go. Alright. Um... That closest statue is still back down here. Now I'm actually starting to believe that some of these other weapons that are in the game are a myth. Yep, already collected that. Go away. Die. Game's all like, oh, you can find these different axes in so such and such. Lies. Lies and slender. Nah, I just might be getting unlucky. Hey there. Let me see. One, two, ten. Okay. Thanks for your help. Here's your reward. The number of skeletons of the graveyard is manageable now. These people can go to church safely. 500 gold and a triangular shimmer stone. I guess that's worth something. Uh, that said, I should probably go check out the church. See if... Judicus has come back. I think the closest one is the cemetery, so... Pop over here. Church Plaza. I probably still can't even enter the church. You hear this time? Monday and Autumn, Moonlight, Lore. Sweet, sweet lore. Hmm. Well, I'm hoping the dude's not dead. All right. Um, do I gotta talk to, do I gotta find, uh, what's her face? Hilda, that's it. I was about to say Olivia again. Haha. <laughs> Hi. The return of the goddess is, is, should be imminent, but I don't think she'll be coming back. What are you talking about? The goddess is dead. I was very religious once. I prayed every day, all day, for years. I gave myself fully to the goddess and believed that I lived in her grace. I drove my parents crazy. Then my parents passed away. It was only then I realized that my faith had been self-serving and selfish. This is dead. Worship is a waste. Go to the asylum. Be careful. 
and be useful. Daisy and the doctor could use your help. Oh! The church is open. I don't trust the silence. You know, the doctor has medicine that can cure the plague. Should I? I mean, if he actually does, yes. May the Shemrit Goddess lead me forward. This I pray. Oh my. That's a large statue. Excuse me, sister. Sister Maggie. The bishop has prayed for months in the plague. Her devotion has left her body weak and sickly. She is the goddess's servant, the only bridge between her and us. Without the bishop, we would be alone. We believe her efforts will soon drive the plague from May forever. Call on the goddess in difficult times. Pray and she will listen. Oh. Back entrance to the cemetery, or...? Just another entrance to the cemetery. Brilliant Heart Poems. When she summons darkness, the world becomes dark. When she summons light, thus she brings us clear, brilliant skies. The goddess says to us, be not afraid to walk alone in the darkness. Look to the shining light in the distance. That is the light of your heart. Follow it. I mean, that's a good message, but... The night is harmful to the world, but the light that comes from the goddess will be a new beginning. She will bring a new dawn to the world. All we need to do is have faith and pray, for prayer gives her strength. Can't break a wall. The Shimmer Goddess's glory and might lie within her light. Might and light. Yeah. These scholars who have read Donatio may disagree, but it's important to remember that even the age of Donatio is far from goddess. There's gonna be secrets up here. Oh, no. Don't doubt, have faith. Don't doubt those filthy people should die and so the church can purify the believers. Whoa. Dude, come on. Those who never answer the call of the church are unholy and deserve a slow death. Is there some sort of edict about goddess worshippers having to be freaking dicks? The same. The Shimmer religion is monotheistic. After the Great Siege, her purpose was finally revealed. The goddess is the only one who can overcome the darkness and return the world to light. This room is for staff only. Please leave if you're not a member of the staff. Can I steal some nun drapery? Yeah, that is a massive goddamn statue. Oh, hello. The Forbidden Library. Look at all this lore. Look at this shimmer code. What's the shimmer code? Hmm. Watch it be another item. Can be used to decorate. Here I was hoping it was going to be something, I don't know, enlightening. Darker than shadow, deeper than love itself, more foolish than any creature. The night sings softly, slowly. There's no place for peaceful than more. No place for peaceful than May. It is the holy land of the vigilance and the place where the final step to return daylight will be taken. Well, I got a feeling that uh, our protagonist here is somehow important in that step. Do I gotta murder some kind of gods? There are many versions versions of the hexagonal candle ritual. According to ancient documents, the hexag hexagon represents the six aspects of the goddess. Her body, silence, heart, peace, acceptance, and perseverance. The false old ones promise much but never fulfill. The false ones, Larube, Larabi, Satis, Thonio, Um Pablo, so many old ones lost to time. Is this goddess just another old one? Is it kind of like a... Are we working some, some something sort of based off of... I don't know. I have opinions about religion. Shimmerless day will soon be upon us and the church shall prepare the test of 
novation for the sisters. If they pass, they will have the opportunity to serve the bishop. Novices need to be devout and firm. I doubt anyone will pass the test. I don't mind giving you a chance too, girl. Come back to me when the time comes. I have no clue when that time is. I didn't even strike that. I was just trying to jump up into the rafters. Do you have more to say, or? Spawn upon us, devout, give you a chance to. That's fine. Yeah, where in the cemetery does this lead? This has got to be a new place in the cemetery, then. I wasn't sure if that was like a beastly growl. Oh! No, I'm an idiot, and that's just another place where you can enter the church. Don't know how that one missed me. Vertibra. Alright. I, um... Guess we know a little bit more about how these people work. In mostly that they are kind of assholes about people who are not at the least accepting of the goddess. Can't be open from this side. Ooh. Now I'm curious. Yeah, that's no faster. I just want to peek in here really quick and go to this other side, see if there's a method to get down into the basement. I don't see one. Probably something within, within the cemetery that I have to enter. Or one of those other locations within that I can't actually get into. Okay. Just had to make sure that I didn't... My theory is that in order to get where uh, only the sisters can get, I have to wear the whole nun outfit. Oh, shit, to boy. Alright, let's see if... Um, what's her face? Is back where she is. Back where we had first met her. Nope. Hmm. Wait, what's miscellaneous? Sister Holly mentioned a trial to become a novice sister and serve the bishop. Maybe I should take her, talk to her about it later. Oh, speaking of later, it's been a little bit. I haven't seen Mr. McCombless guy. Maybe he's got something to say. Something to add. I didn't get any new paints. I could have just teleported. I know. Keep on forgetting that that's an option. I could just buy a house. What else am I doing? What else am I doing with my money? Grand lady, can you share some money? Sure. Wait, this is a funeral coin. Take your bath. The ghost will come. Ghost? You don't know about the ghosts and the disappearing corpses? Gavekeeper is so scared he fled the cemetery. People said the creeper's house is warm and cozy. I'm too scared to go in. What's this about ghosts? People said they heard strange voices in the graveyard. Keeper thought it was animals. But one day he listened close and discovered the deep rumbling voice came beneath the earth. He thought it was someone trying to rob a grave. He ran out and checked, but only saw a shadow disappear into darkness. They see it clearly. The keeper thought it was an illusion, but he got close to check. But when he got close to check, he found an empty grave with a funeral coin missing. Same kind as yours. Some think a thief took the coin, and now the dead have returned to take it back. Church not your coin? Old coin, you say? Wait. This was the lucky coin. 
the the one that what's his face gave me shit who gave it to me ah I forgot who gave it to me who was it a quest of some sort and remember that as such frick did I just buy that house I got a lot of this crap and I can't seem to put it into storage hmm wait I remember it was someone in the tavern wasn't you was it you? How could this happen, my men? Apparently, lots of priests and a few vigilants had entered the forest over the years. None came back. Okay. A friend and elegant woman who loves painting. About ten winters ago, before she left here, she gave me a marionette. Ever since, I wondered why she gave me such a strange gift. Even now, I have no answer. I want to give it to you before I leave. Now it's your turn to wonder. Why have I always kept it by my side? Why would you give this as a parting gift? Disturbed puppet found wound, wound with umbilical cords and old flesh can be used to decorate the room. Can I deposit this stuff or not? Because I would really like to deposit it. Trouble in the flooded area? Now you know the terror of the sea. Yeah, that's not helpful. Jackass. Disappearing one by one, maybe I'll be next. Want some apple cider? My treat this time. I'm sure the plague came from those filthy miners. I have a lot of money from that mine, and if the miners die, they'll have nothing to worry about. The plague, no wages, no problem. But the mine has nothing to do with the plague. Really? Well, the flooded area is just as filthy as the mine, and the plague must come from a filthy place. Nothing to admit. Yep. He's a jackass. I mean, I understand general concern. Hello. Like, it's terrible. Everyone I saw was sick. Is it really deceivers or some sort of curse? Yes! No. I don't know. Seems like a majority of the people in this verse are just kind of dicks. Says the person that's been running around killing monsters and people and hi. It was terrifying. Nobody lives in the room downstairs, but you can sometimes hear someone down there swearing loudly. Well, now I, I was interested before. Are you seriously telling me that is we're all assault? We're silly, but all the markets are closed due to the plague. You fool, why didn't you report this immediately? You better get everything sorted before dinner time. Gant, well, you don't want to know what will happen. So, the chef is just really ornery. So, sounds like you have a serious problem. I'm screwed if I don't get some salt. An idea where I can find some. I know one way, but it's too dangerous for me. I can deal with danger. Kill some of the monsters outside. They drop salt when they die. Kill monsters to get salt. I've killed thousands of monsters, but they never dropped any. What? Monsters are source of salt in my world. What do you mean, in your world? Well, anyway, rumor has it that the sewers beneath Mayor Bridge on the road to the heart of groundwater. Thomas, dude. You can find a monster from my world. Perhaps you can get some salt from it. In the sewers beneath Mayor Bridge. What do you think? I'll do my best. Thank you so much, you're my only hope. James is such a reckless boy. He still has a long way to go. How can he cook... I kind of cook my cuisine without salt. I mean, I guess it's difficult. It's just going to have to be a dick about it. <laughs> General consensus. Everyone else in this game is a dick. That's right. I can steal away into the doctor's home. Well, I would love... Love, love, love the idea of getting my arse 
into the sewers below Mayor Bridge. If you can't tell, that was sarcasm. I don't think you've been here for the last couple of episodes. But I don't think I can in the first place. Excuse me again. God damn me on an... This mail bridge, right? Yeah, it's still blocked off by that. So sick. Give 10 coins. Are you alright? You should go to the doctor. Don't have money to eat, so not enough to doctor. Now, where, where's the kind of hunter? He hasn't come to give me the herb in a long time. The what now? The herb. Short of the salt. James needs me to kill some otherworldly monster to get some salt? I mean, I not I know not all mines are the kind where you can get salt. Wait, Mayor Bridge. I'm gonna guess he actually meant that bridge, not the <clears throat> not the one that actually leads down to the sewers. All right. Um, I guess we shall. In the sewers below Mayor, Mayor Bridge? Or do I actually have to go to Mayor Bridge for this? I'm pretty much just going to poke down here and see what's up. Nothing there. I'm not sure if I have the key for this situation. Or anything at all for this situation. Can't be open from this side. So where's the key? Hmm. Yeah, that works. Instead of walking all the way back. Literally nothing changed. I killed like four creatures. Um, I'm going to give a quick talk to the doc. Maybe Daisy at the same time. See if they have any other information for me. Danger outside of town. Be careful. Do you believe in reincarnation, sis? I've heard such things before, but if we could only return to the old times, I mean such ancient times, we might see our li past life. Only a daydream, but an interesting one, right? If that's something akin to what, uh, what's actually happening for us. Wait, this medicine. Oh right, I almost forgot. Thank you for bringing it. Effective medicines are limited and difficult to produce. I beg Don all the time, but, well, we all have our limits. This medicine is just a placebo to soothe those not already affected. It's not entirely useless, but it's no cure. It's better than outright panic, though. Can you hand out the medicine for me? This, I'm... Tell him when it's done. Alright. Well... I'm going to go ahead and call an episode here. When we return, I guess we're delivering placebo medicines to the townsfolk. Oh, that's creepy horror. Woo. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. In any case, thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying playing it. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.